What up boys and welcome back to another video. So in today's gold farming video we're looking at yet another 9.2 farm and it's something that is really big. So before we dive into the specifics I do want to mention that you guys can still obtain the 0 to 10 million gold guide for 50% off by using code Shadowlands. It's basically a book that I started making over a year ago and I've improved and updated the book since. And that is the best part about the book, that it will constantly be updated. So now for 9.2, it's updated. We'll receive more 9.2 updates. And whenever the next expansion comes out, it gets updated for that expansion. And everyone who has already bought the book gets every single future update for free. So it's a step-by-step -step basis telling you how to begin, what farms you should do, and it's all the same techniques that I've used multiple times to achieve multiple gold caps. So if that's of interest, you can find it linked down below in the description and also pinned comment. So big thank you to everyone that has picked it up lately. That is insane and all the positive feedback. Really appreciate that because I spent a lot of time on this. So in today's video, we're actually going to be looking at this weapon right here. It's an item level 246 two-handed sword. And it's going for like 500 to 750,000 gold. Yes, it's going to be more gold than some realms. And it might even be less gold than some realms, right? But that is the current price of it. Uh, the look of it is pretty cool. I can definitely imagine this sword selling as a transport item in future expansions where we go back to grind for it, right? The only problem is obtaining this because uh, the blade... Has was known from PTR. You can look at the Wowhead section on this blade. There's a ton of people who farmed it and found out about this blade in PTR. The only known loot source from this one is from these mobs right here. The Moss Sworn Strikers, right? And these guys, well, they don't hyper spawn. So what does that mean? It's going to be relatively tough to get it. The drop chance on the blade itself, it's not known what exactly the drop chance is so i don't think it's a super low drop chance i just think that it's quite hard to get because there's not that many mobs to kill so i'm gonna let me see if i can bring up this picture right here and you guys can see the different spawn locations of these mobs they don't hyper spawn so basically what we did was we had two groups with four people in each group we basically ran a two times four uh setup because we thought that we could hyper spawn these in the first place uh, but when we figured out that we couldn't, we just ran in circles, like from location to location, like clockwise, and we just killed him on a loop. Now, the thing is, we did it for an hour, nobody, well, an hour and five minutes, and nobody actually got the blade. However, there was a ton of people, as you can see right here, a clip from my stream, we got three people who got epic BOE cosmetic items selling for hundreds of thousands of gold, and like five minutes after this picture was taken... There was uh, another guy who got a, like a cosmetic epic BOE that you can't sell on the auction house. So even if you don't get that blade, you will get the, uh, the cosmetic items on top of that, or at least a chance at it. And then you also get these Shadow War in the Chest Key Fragments. Now these are used, five of these are used to uh, make one of these. This Sand War in Chest Key, which you can use to unlock chests in the area, which has a chance of giving you the... Uh, legendary material that you can also sell so uh, overall i think it's a pretty steady farm but like we'll study a solid farm at least so uh if i were you i would definitely uh grab a guildy you can solo this because these mobs aren't hard to kill it's when you pull the elites and if you want to get like uh, a chance of getting the good keys and uh cosmetic epics and so on you want to be in a group so you can just pull all the elites and just aoe them all down but overall Super simple stuff. Head over to this area right here. The uh, Endless Sands. I guess people uh, will would call this farm Endless Sands Farm. Because that's literally the area that we're in right now. And that is pretty much it. But guys, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to get the latest gold farms for 9.2 and beyond. And you will be uh, notified whenever I upload a video. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I will see you all back in on tomorrow's video. But until then, bye-bye.